Hey, this is Benji from RudderStack, and today we're going to show you how to send data using the RudderStack JavaScript SDK from our marketing website to some of our most popular destinations, such as Customer.io, Salesforce, and our Snowflake data warehouse. As we log into the app, you can see we've already created our JavaScript source for the marketing website and connected it to our three downstream destinations. The only other thing we need to do to start sending data is add the JavaScript snippet to our HTML header on our web form. Be sure to note the URL for your data plane as well as the right key from the source. And now we're ready to start submitting data to RudderStack. One cool feature of RudderStack is the ability to view event payloads as they arrive from the source. We can see the page and identify calls created by our form submission. We can also toggle over to our Salesforce destination and see the outbound event payload being sent to Salesforce. We should also point out that there is a user transformation applied to this event prior to it being sent to Salesforce. User transformations can be created and edited within the RudderStack UI. RudderStack also allows you to manage your user transformations within your own Git repo for better version control and collaboration amongst your team. In addition to user transformations, RudderStack also supports specific destination transformations, which are applied to an event just prior to it leaving the data plane. You can find these destination transformations in our Git repo and learn how to build one yourself. But enough about the code, let's take a look at our various downstream tools to make sure the data actually made it in properly. And we can see our lead was created in Customer.io and Salesforce. Now that we've walked through the basics of event streaming, I'd like to mention another very cool feature of RudderStack, Warehouse Actions. Warehouse Actions are our way of turning your data warehouse into an event streaming source. In this example, we've configured two downstream tools and we need to keep these two systems in sync. To do this, we've created a warehouse action to send data from our Salesforce Cloud Extract table in Snowflake back to Customer.io. You can even apply user transformations to warehouse action events so that a single table in your warehouse can propagate data to any number of destinations, even if they have different field names or mappings. One final feature of RudderStack that I would like to highlight is our data governance API. You can check out the specifics by visiting the RudderStack documentation. Using Postman, you can access a bunch of different information about your connections and event activity. In particular, the Metadata API allows you to fetch valuable information on a specific RudderStack connection, including a sample of the events for this connection, a total count of events fired, and most valuable for analysts like me, a list of frequent values. I hope we've demonstrated just how easy it is to start streaming data from your website and your data warehouse with RudderStack. Head on over to our website, RudderStack.com, to see more video tutorials and how-tos.